In Plan B, all resources are provided by resource volumes. This video demonstrates the Plan B resource volume for voice messages. Other system resources are provided along the same lines. Let's go now to a terminal located at a different room. This terminal belongs to Pauria. He can use the TEL program to deliver a message to user Nemo. The message will be delivered at the location of Nemo. Are you ready? Let's see now how the program could work. It could read slash who slash Nemo slash where to retrieve the location for Nemo. Then the mount system call was used to import the voice volume requiring its location to be 136. The volume appears to be a tiny file system with an output file on it. Writing text into the file can be used to speak a message. The Who program works in the same way to deliver voice notifications. It notifies of user arrivals and leaves. All it has to do is to write to the voice volumes files. Many other programs can easily deliver voice messages. All system resources are imported using the mount mechanism that we saw. Users rely on it to specify which properties like location, ownership, etc. must be present in the service requested. Once imported, using resources is as simple as using read and write. 